morning, Minister of Health, the Honorable Kim Wilson, JP, MP. Ministry staff, assembled healthcare professionals, ladies and gentlemen, students of the Clara Muhammad School, head boy, Mr. Riley, not from a, that school, but head boy of Delwood, Zara, representing Clara Muhammad School, and we'd like to acknowledge the students from Mount St. Agnes. On behalf of the Council of City of Hamilton, it is my pleasure to welcome you to City Hall as we join the Ministry of Health in recognizing Oral Health Month 2024. Maintaining oral health is a lifelong commitment, and good oral hygiene will help you uphold that commitment. You will not only be able to better avoid costly dental procedures, but it will also benefit you in your overall health in the long term. Numerous studies have shown the crucial link between oral health care and its impact on our overall health. According to the World Health Organization, most of the oral diseases and conditions share modifiable risk factors with the leading of non-communicable diseases such as cardiovascular diseases, cancer, chronic respiratory diseases, and diabetes. Put it simply, maintaining healthy oral habits which we, hear, which we will hear about today, will prevent gum disease and in turn stop it from causing health complications throughout the rest of your body. Today I'm pleased to join the Ministry of Health in promoting No Sugar Tuesdays for the month of February. Luckily, Valentine's Day falls on Wednesday this year. Again, welcome to the city of Hamilton. Good morning, everyone. We'll now have a prayer by Mrs. Rose Eve. Good morning, everyone. Let us pray. Father, we thank you because we can come to you only in the precious name of Jesus. We thank you for this beautiful day that you've given us. Father, as we launch our all health ministry, it's to help us, Lord, to keep our inside, our bodies, and everything clean. We ask you, Lord God, that you will bless every minister every dentist, every assistant, every and hygienist, and everyone that is here to partake today. Father, help us to do our service with a smile. We pray blessings on everything in Jesus' name, and let us not forget to serve with a smile. Amen. Thank you, Mrs. Eve. We'll now have Proud to be Bermudian sung by Mr. John Woolridge, music teacher from the Barclay Institute. It is such an honor to be here uh, today, and as I reflect that now I'm a, a music teacher, I, my beginnings began at the Victoria Street Health Clinic, and I see the family from there. It's so wonderful to be here. And the song that I'm going to do today uh, was a song that I was honored to write uh, many years ago called Proud to the Media. And so, uh, looking forward to it. Here I am. Have you sing along with me? Proud to be 
Good morning, Bermuda. It's a lovely day today, and I thank God that he gave us this beautiful day. It's not too cold, it's not too rainy, and it's just good to see all of you. This morning, it's my pleasure and my honor to give you a second welcome and to thank you for being here this morning as we launch our Oral Health Month 2024. As has been stated already, our theme for this year is healthy mouth, healthy body. And having been in this position now for the past seven months, I must say that I am pleased to be here, first of all, and to be able to see so many healthy mouths. Even though we've got a long way to go, still a long way to go, it's a good start. So I want to especially honor our Minister of Health, Kim Wilson. I see our director here, Mr. Kendall, and our assistant director, Mrs. Um, I got a blind spot, Berlina. And I just want to thank them, really, for all that they have done to make this possible. And of course, our staff from the Department of Oral Health is here. They are beautifully dressed in their sugar-free Tuesday t-shirts. And so that's our main foothold that we're going to be using on this month. Every Tuesday in the month of February, we want you to remember to have little, I'm not going to say no, I want to say no and really be realistic about it, but I'm going to say no sugar 
on Tuesdays. And so if you can help us with that, we will fulfill the goals of reduce caries and reduce non-communicable diseases in Bermuda. Our hope is for each and every individual that is present here will share the message for a brighter smile and a healthier body through our theme, Healthy Mouth, Healthy Body. Our team has assembled a, quite a variety of a display in front of you with all of the messages that you may want to take a look at, especially our children. Really want to go to that table and take a look and learn a few more things that you did not know. And so on behalf of the Department of Oral Health, I want to welcome you here for our Oral Health Month. And remember, if you don't remember anything else, the three twos, brush your teeth twice a day, see your oral health provider, your dentist or your dental hygienist twice yearly, and brush at least two minutes. You want to brush 30 seconds on each quadrant of the mouth. So that's two minutes. So remember the two, two, twos. And I think Bermuda will go a long way in a healthier body and a healthier mouth. Welcome and thank you. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is David Kendall. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the Minister of Health, the Honorable Kim Wilson, JP MP, as someone who I met um, and started working very closely with uh, in 2017, so some years ago. And interestingly, the first project that we, we collaborated on was, in fact, sugar uh, as well. So it's a theme that keeps coming back, and I think that's appropriate simply because there is so much diet-related disease in Bermuda, but I'm, I want to point out that the minister is somebody who's been a champion for health now for many years, and, um, and I, there's already been a joke about Valentine's Day, so you can tell that she's up for a challenge, especially when there is so much chocolate and so much sugar that we're going to be consuming this month. Uh, but also, our minister is somebody who, in my view, is authentically healthy. And so oral health is interesting because it's about doing the right thing regularly and a little bit each day. And this is why we're encouraging the Sugar-Free Tuesday. But the minister herself, I know she's somebody who's authentically healthy and exercises regularly, gets up early in the morning. She sent me messages in the morning at 5.30 a.m. I know she's up early exercising and taking care of herself. And I think that's what we're trying to exemplify and also encourage everyone else to do in this Oral Health Month. So with no further ado, over to you, Minister of Health. Thank you. Good, mo what? This one. Good morning, everyone, and welcome once again. With the theme Healthy Mouth, Healthy Body, February is designated as Oral Health Month. And as part of this initiative, we will be dedicating every Tuesday in February to No Sugar Day. During the, doing this will address growing concerns about dental caries and non-communicable diseases while sensitizing and raising awareness about the risk associated with those hidden sugars. For those who don't know, dental caries are commonly known as tooth decay or cavities and is common oral health condition characterized by the demineralization of tooth enamel due to the acidic byproducts produced by bacteria in the presence of sugars and carbohydrates. This process leads to the formation of small holes or cavities in the teeth, and if left unattended, dental caries can progress, causing pain, infection, and potential tooth loss. Prevention includes and involves maintaining good oral health hygiene practices, regular dental checkups, and adopting a diet that is low in sugary foods and drinks. Dental caries is widespread and has a detrimental impact and effect on the quality of life at all stages. As a preventable ailment, 
it is crucial to take further action to eliminate the morbidity that it causes. And it is no surprise that excessive sugar consumption is the main cause of dental caries. Untreated dental caries is permanent teeth, excuse me, untreated dental caries and permanent teeth is the most prevalent condition among all human diseases, and it infects more than 2.5 billion people. And for children with their first teeth, untreated dental caries is the single most common chronic childhood disease, and that affects 621 million people. Studies published in the last two decades show that the negative impact of dental caries in all aspects of life related to oral health in infancy, school age, adolescence, adulthood, and among the elderly. Dental caries causes pain, it impairs function, and has an impact on a person's emotional and social well-being. And furthermore, dental caries impact academic performance, it leads to loss of working hours, and has a direct and indirect cost for the individual and society, including loss of productivity. And untreated dental caries can also potentially lead to more dramatic outcomes, such as documented instances of blindness or death. People who regularly consume sugar have a higher risk of developing dental caries, particularly if the food they eat is sticky and is consumed in between mealtimes. Non-communicable diseases are the main causes of death, and in many instances, these occur prior to persons reaching the age of 70. There's an association between sugar consumption and diabetes, sugar consumption and obesity, sugar consumption and cardiovascular disease, and sugar consumption and non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases, as well as cancer. For the first time in history, in November of 2022, the World Health Organization produced the Global Oral Health Status Report. The report highlighted, among other things, that over 3.5 billion persons globally, which is approximately 50% of our world's population, suffers from one form or another of oral disease. And the World Health Organization also emphasized that the role of free sugars, and that is sugar that's added to your foods and drinks, in the instance of non-communicable diseases, and there's a tie-in correlation. And it recommends, listen to this, you lot, limiting the consumption of free sugars to no more than 10% of your daily energy intake every day. So promoting areas that are sugar-free, particularly in and around the schools and preschools, has been proposed and is a practice in most of our schools here in Bermuda. We congratulate those schools who have made water the drink of choice and have a policy that does not allow foods or drinks with excessive amounts of sugar or salt to be sold around the school. We encourage everyone to begin to change their eating habits by celebrating no sugar days on each Tuesday of the month for the month of February. And remember, a healthy mouth, healthy body begins with you, Bermuda. So in closing, just remember the three twos for good oral health. Brush and floss two times a day, Brush for two minutes a day on each time when you brush, which is twice a day, and see your dental professional at least twice a year. It's really important for all of us to take care of our oral health because we see what the impacts are, and let's all celebrate as we remove sugar from our diets on every Tuesday. Thank you. Good morning again, everyone. We have three students this morning who will read a poem to you. We have Kenzo Riley from Dalwood Middle School. We have Zara Shakir from the Clara Muhammad School. And we have Lily Amaral from the Mount St. Agnes Academy. So listen closely, everyone. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kenzo Riley, and I am the hat boy at Dalwood Middle School. This morning I will be reading a poem made by Joanna Alice called A Smile. A smile is just as unique as every person is. It doesn't have to be the same as hers or have to be as bright as he is. Smiles can come in different shapes and lots of different sizes. Some have little toothy pegs and some have large incisors. Some smiles can, come, can be quite wobbly with changing gaps and spaces. Some 
straight all in a row, wearing shiny braces. Smiles can contain some extra teeth, and some have none at all. Some teeth have some cracks and bruises that need fixing from a fall. Yet a smile can bring confidence, a beauty from within. And every mouth needs a little TLC to maintain a healthy grin. Two minutes of good brushing with a fluoride toothpaste twice a day removes the plaque from teeth and gums, keeping holes and pain away. Stick to three healthy balanced meals. Cut out sugary drinks and snacks. Floss in between your teeth when you can, where bacteria hide and attack. Because a smile can go a long, long way, and I don't mean just from ear to ear. A smile is a joy and a comfort to the loved ones we hold dear. A smile is a tonic, a joke, and a laugh. Sp fun time spent with our friends. A smile can proudly say, I did it or can be a way to make amends. And a smile, though it's free, can be priceless. And smiles can be shared by everyone. A smile will always brighten someone's day. So go ahead and pass one on. The end. Thank you. I just wanted them to have another little round of applause. They were so brave, they practiced. They did a lovely job. Thank you, students. Okay, now we'll have some more remarks from the Honorable Kim Wilson, Minister of Health. Okay. My apologies, she already said her say, had her say. Uh, we'll let Dr. Pickstock close us out. Thank you. I want to thank you again for coming. And an opportunity like this means that we have to have so many helpers around. And so for this initiative, I really want to thank a few people. Mainly, I want to thank our minister, as I said before, our director and our assistant director, of course, our staff from the Department of Oral Health. You guys look really good. I might as well tell you with those blue shirts on. I like that. The press is here, and we thank them for coming and covering this. I want to really thank so many people, uh, the staff of the health department. Uh, they may not be here at the moment. The Department of Communications, the um, so many departments, I just can't remember them all. But everyone that has anything to do with this initiative here today, we want to thank you for all that you've done. We have something for you today to for you to remember. Tuesdays are for sugar free, and so we have our water, and we have some apples that we'd like for you to take, and so that you can be reminded of this day. And we thank you for being here and have a great and a happy day and a healthy smiles. Thank you so much.